Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Hollow Knight. I fought Wing Nosk a few times till we got that down. So I think that should be okay. Couldn't beat him on Ascended. Don't need to beat him on Ascended. Everything's fine. Went back to Nightmare King Grim again, which was good because I definitely would have died because it's been too long since I've done that. I didn't remember the fire coming up from the floor. I also didn't remember Grim doing two points of damage. I was pretty sure that he only did one. But that's fine, because we got that back down again. Did the pure vessel a few times, just in case we actually somehow get that far. But in the unlikely event that I'm able to uh, actually get to wing Nosk again, to actually show you guys new stuff, I was told that if I just jump off right here, then there is a thing right here. And we can do stuff with things. Unless it's just a... Okay, never mind. I was like, unless it's just a spring! I'm so lost. This was another way back to the center? Uh... Off the left of the big tower where you do the final... Tentative, we'll get back to it. Okay, so I jumped off the edge of existence to see if I could find the land of storms or whatever. I didn't find it. But it did teleport us back to the living world, and this person is very much not dead anymore. Hollowed land. Toon gods. Also very much just teleports us back here. Can I climb this? Where does this go? Absolutely nowhere. I'm gonna go do a Pantheon. Alright, we're at least back to the last bench before Winged Nosk. So we are two bosses away from Wing. We have to beat two, be two bosses and then we get to Winged Nosk. But I was thinking about something while we were coming back through here. It's probably stupid and I'm probably just overthinking it. But I was like... The energy source we use, the essence, is it's called soul, right? Like, we channel soul to do stuff, and when we hit enemies, we take their soul. When you hit the collector, the collector doesn't give you any soul. Does that mean that the collector is, like, the only enemy that doesn't have a soul? I don't know. I just thought that was kind of weird that you have to hit the things that come out of the bottles to get soul in that fight instead of him. Like, when you fight the failed champion or the, the false knight, hitting the armor doesn't give you soul because you're not actually hitting the creature itself, but... We hit the collector and we don't get any soul. I don't know. I just thought that was weird. I'm going to try and get back to Wing Nosk. Still same stuff as before. I just swapped out the uh, long nail for the sharp shadow. I think later on I'm going to switch out the mark of pride for the quick heal. And see how that works. Because I honestly feel like in some places the quick heal would be more beneficial than just a bit more range. If I could be, you know, not dumb about dodging. Not ideal if I'm being honest. I got hit way too much during this fight and I came into it with full health. Got really unlucky with that stuff, so... Wing Nosk and the Nail Slash... or Nail Lord... Nail Smith. Sage. Look, he's good at nail stuff. It's two free damages. We get one there. Yeah, that's the one thing that always kind of messed me up. Too far to the edge. And I'm not getting the double slash off. You need to dash while you're in the air towards it. Ooh. Not having that range extender. It's making more of a difference than I thought. That's... Very not good. What? How did I not take damage? Okay, there we go. There we go. I was like... What kind of like... Oh, God, that was... I'm at a loss of words. This is what we want. You're gonna do the thing? You know, that's probably a safe time to heal. 
Once you guaranteedly dodge that stuff. This is fine. One heal. One heal. Okay. You know what? This is actually not the worst. Not gonna go for a double heal, even though I might have been able to do so. Because I don't trust me. Okay. Okay. Landon, oh god, yeah, definitely. I was wondering if I was too far away. Enough so to the point where I needed to go the other direction. Was not the case. Should have definitely still gone forwards. We beat Wingnos. This means we are the farthest we have ever been in this pantheon now. Great Nail Sage Sly. Can I get you to your final phase where I can then just dash through you? That is the real question, because I forgot to fight Nail Slade. Ah, your range is so good. This is where the quick kill would have been great. Oh, do I get a full three? I didn't remember that. That's cool. I like that. Very nice, we got to the final phase. Is it possible now? That I can dash through you enough times that you die. Before I die. You went with me. See, once the spin starts, they get to move a little bit more. And that complicates things. I can never seem to find an opportunity to thank you. I just had to face tank it. This did not work. Mission abort, we failed. And I don't think that heal got off. We're going to be cautious now, because while historically Hornet hasn't been difficult, we've come too far to mess this up now. How dare you parry me? Did I just... Are you... Get away from me! She's insane! That would have been a time to heal. I wish I had the quick heal. I spent my entire life thinking I didn't need it for this fight. And now I am Regret Incarnate. No! No! Oh my god, I was like, I did not come this far to lose the Hornet. It's okay, it's okay, everything's fine, okay? Let me just look up the boss list again, and we're far- yeah, we we'll bench. Look, it's a bench. I like benches. All right, so we got the long nail back because I don't think the sharp shadow would really help too terribly much. I mean, obviously it would help. It's a charm and it's good. Not as much as more reach, I think, for this. So it looks like the only difficult encounter here, potentially, is going to be the lost kin. So if I get full health, I can mostly face tank that fight and it will be fine. Because, like, this obviously... Not a problem. We don't die here. 
I think I've fought the other bosses enough times that I can confidently be like, yeah, we're okay. There's White Defender. And Traitor Lord. I don't want to jinx it, but I'm not really scared of those. So I think this is okay, at least for now. I have tried this arena just once because I didn't want to come here and then die to no eyes because after all the other oh my god I'm going to die to no eyes a o Well, I won when No Eyes did two points of damage a hit. So I think it logics then that this shouldn't be as bad. Yes, logic stands. And we have a good amount of soul. Hi, Trader Lord. Hi. Hi, how you doing? Hi. When you put your arm up, I dash. When you do that, I don't do anything at all because you miss. Hi, I dash. Okay, you went over me. Oh, I got, oh God, I got to dash. Oh, oh, you got me. Oh, man. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, geez. Hard fight is hard. And I can hide in the corner like a man. With both range extenders, there is a spot here where I can stand to attack without taking damage. Instead of getting smacked in the face every time, like normal. I don't like it when you do that. I don't dodge that. Yes, I love it when you do that. And we get another bench after this. See, I'm like, it's certain bosses. It's just certain bosses. I mean, maybe if there was an ascending mode of this, like if he did two damage, I would have to be super careful. Like, the most super careful. And, like, look at our health. Like, I would have been dead already. Would have been dead out of ten. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm a weird combination of tired and excited that we got this far. Okay, so if I remember right, this I'm taking off. And we're putting on the quick focus, because I feel as though this will help. Uh, should I look at the... I don't think it's going to matter. This is going to be the Markoth Zote 1. This is like the final frontier here. So I'm like, the Markov fight, I see how to do it, I think. You have to dash in when shield friend is going around, or actually I guess that's shield enemy. When shield enemy spinning around, you have to dash through the shield enemy, attack him, and then dash out through the shield enemy. That's the only opportunity I've seen to fight Markov in that arena. But this would give me more of an opportunity to heal up, I think. Enough so to the point where I almost want to take the Grub Song, but I feel like the Steady Body will let me get more hits in, and if the fight ends sooner, that might be better than just getting more soul when they beat the crap out of me. So we are going to attempt it with the Quick Focus. I just looked at these five bosses, and for some reason they're escaping me, so now I'm scared. I feel like it's just going to be a big dragon and I'm dead. Oh, tragedy. This majestic god evades our attunement with such ease. We live only to serve the gods, to seek them out. Why does she frustrate us? How does she hide from us? Does she diminish herself by choice? Oh, majestic one, we beg thee, reveal thyself. Our mind is so much less without you in it. Pale mother, we barely dare to think. The chance of meeting is too rare. 
But thine residents, could you be one of them? This counts as one of the 53 rooms. I think there's only 42 bosses, actually, because there was 10 in each pantheon. And then there's two extra ones in this one, and this is all the other pantheons. So I think there's 42, and I miscounted last time. This is one of the 53 rooms, though. Soul Tyrant, I remember now. Welcome to the corner. This is the very slow play, because I am terrified of dying. I should be using nail arts like I did before. Because if I just... Whoop, that's two and a half times damage. Don't stand all the way in the corner, though. That's a dumb... Ooh, that was real dumb. I jumped too soon. Haha, -ha, you can't hit me in such close vicinity. Nope, wasn't up in time. This is one thing the Sharp Shadow actually would have helped with. I do not fear that attack. Because I can get a hit in here and heal afterwards. Eh. Thank you, you probably would have hit me. Okay. Two hits, very good. That was almost a nail art. I should be nail arting. It's, it's just dangerous. You know what? I'll nail art. Nope, wasn't fast enough. Need the quick charge thing. Don't have the charm slots for it. Like, you ever think about that, though? If we could just wear every charm in the game at the same time, it's probably be pretty easy, to be honest, because we do, like, double the healing, and we would heal faster, and all kinds of other stuff. Like, all charms would be insanely broken. Even more, like, just most of them. If we had 20 charm notches instead of 11, power overwhelming. Did we do a thing? I couldn't tell. They teleported away. And then they got me in their secret attack? Okay. I don't know how I dodged that. A little bit tighter without the Mark of Pride. But I think we'll manage. Nope. Nope. Okay. Ready for the whoosh, get 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 ready for the whoosh, whoosh. One, two, dodge, one, dodge, two, out, two, out. Forget it, we're face tanking it. I didn't want to risk a second phase. We have full, we have full soul pretty much. I think we got, we got the faces there. It's good enough. <sighs> isn't this, wait, isn't this arena, is this the same shape of the arena that I did in the attuned one? I hate them. Those not doing too damage, very nice. See, you gotta go, you gotta go through the shield enemy. If you're hurt, then you use that time to heal. If you're not hurt, then you must penetrate shield enemy's defenses. Yeah, take that. You're friends with the wrong kind of people. We could have been great together. Wait, one stays behind? Impossible. I never got that far in the fight. I didn't... I thought... Okay. I have the quick heal. 
I am more than prepared for this. I love the quick heal so much. I don't use it enough, I think. I fell. How dare you have my number of chances to attack you? Okay, okay, okay. We have full health. This is okay. I hate you! Hate... I didn't fight Zoe today. Oh... That's one. You need to do the thing. That's a fairly good time to attack. You're gonna do the stupid. You're gonna do the stupid. That was a good time to attack. That was a good time to jump. Wish I did something like that. Why are you doing things when I can't see? Only do things when I can see them. You know what? We have the quick heal. We're probably free to heal in more places than I am taking. I like this move. I like this move a lot. So you're a pretty good guy when you do that move. You're still a dirty waifu stealer, but you know. As good as a waifu stealer can be. Alright. Maybe a little too confident? Very nice. Very nice indeed. Nightmare King Grim. If we can just Nightmare King Grim, we get another bench. Wait, why are you here? I completely forgot about you. How ignorable your existence. Eh, 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 eh. Take these. And some of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, I didn't get it. Nine, ten. Because it's normally eleven. Too bad. So sad. Now we get the Nightmare King Grim. I like being on the right side of the arena. Something about the right side of the arena just feels like home to me. Left side of the arena, not so much. If I'm being honest. Up, down, up, down. Stabby doos. Fire, up, 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 up. Ow! Ooh, okay. That, that was dangerous. Up, down, up, down. Four. Do I have time to heal here? I do. Very dangerous. But I do. Such is the power of the quick heal. That was stupid. I should very much have not gotten hit there. But I just walked right into it. So I'm going to jump over that, and then I'm going to jump over that, and that, and that. I can do that. I'll go over that, too. Up, down, up, down. Okay. All right. Opportunity to full heal. Up, down, up, down. 
Up, down, up, down. So you just jump over the first one and then you dash. That's all you do. And as long as you're slightly to the right or left of where Grim ultimately Shoryukens, you won't get hit. Jump, little jump, big jump, little jump, little jump. Big jump, little jump. Big jump. Could probably take more attacks. I don't like to do risky things, because risky things get me killed. Because I'm like, oh, guys, look at this. And then I'm like, up, oh, I died. And we're pretty far in this. Not gonna lie. Ah, you changed direction. I forgot that was a thing you could do. Boop, boop, boop. Up, down, up, down. Grim, I don't think you have much left. Stabby do. Down, up, down. That was unfortunately a waste. Is that is like the best opportunity to attack? Stabby do's. Sure you can. Down, up, down, and dead. I still get hit. But not the worst, though. Honestly, after coming so far, I can only expect disaster because good things don't happen to me. But I think I'm gonna stick with this. Because honestly, while I have only ever really fought the pure vessel with the Mark of Pride 2, as long as I don't attack during the part where the swords come up, this might be more useful situationally, because normally I just take opportunities to attack with the blast when I fight this fight now, just to get the more damage out faster. Like whenever they do the big focus thing, I normally just try and shoot three blasts, but this will let me get two heals in at least every time I tried to heal. And I think that might be safer. I don't know. Maybe this range is going to screw me up and... We just wasted an hour of going through this Pantheon, but you know what? We made it pretty much to the end, and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty cool with that, you know? Even long departed, we feel the afterglow of the god power that sat this throne. It lays heavy upon this kingdom. The lingering power alone was beacon enough to draw us to Hollow Nest. How bright it must have been to mortal bugs stood before it. A god so strong, yet erased so completely. How could it happen? God King, you reduced your form to match our meager shells. But why shed so majestic a whole? Surely your true immensity could have inspired devotion all the more. I am not looking forward to this. All right. I wish you were at the beginning of this Pantheon so I could get you out of the way. Why are you standing between me and the Radiance? Okay. I'm dashing regardless. I'm dashing regardless. I don't want to stay directly above you, because staying directly above you gets me hit with the RNGs. Also don't want to stay completely in that corner, because that's a stupid. Eh, take the big in. Dashing anyway. See, whenever he does the downward sword stab, if you're in the corner, you're getting hit by it. That's that's just how life is. Eh, take the big one. Pew, pew! Ah! Dashing anyway. Oh my god.
god. Please just let me heal. Why? I was doing so decent earlier. Why? Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, there goes a minimum of an hour. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.